Hello and welcome to Glisser. In today's training session, we're going to cover how to create an event in Glisser. A Glisser event is different than a Glisser individual session. Glisser events will have one single audience URL that will give your audience access to multiple sessions. To start, you log into your Glisser account and on the left hand side of the screen, you will see an events option. Click on events and create new. After creating new, you'll see the box pops up with the request for all the information about your event. You will simply want to replicate your event agenda in Glisser. So we're going to add the event title. We're going to put in a date, so we'll run ours today until tomorrow. You can have it run as many days as you need. You can create a code. So we're going to use the code Glisser2. This will be the customized URL that your audience enters to join your event. We can add multiple rooms. So if you just have one room for your event, you can leave it as is, or you can add extra rooms. So we'll just call it breakout room. The next step is to add a holding slide. Knowing that often you will not receive your speaker content until last minute or in the days leading up to the event, we will want to add a piece of content or an image as a holding place. By default, Glisser will have an image that says, hang in there, slides coming soon, or you can simply click on this box and upload your own image. From there, we're going to want to add each of the additional sessions that will appear on your agenda. So, we're going to go ahead and add three sessions to our Glisser agenda. I'm going to name it Keynote, Breakout 1, and Breakout 2. Upon doing this, you will need to decide what day, what room, and what time are these sessions taking place. So I'll have the Keynote take place in the main room from 9 a.m until 10 a.m. And then the breakouts I'll put on the second day of our event. One of them will leave in the main room, running from, again, 9 a.m. until 10 a.m. And the second one, we will also move to the second day, but let's put this one in a different room and we can run it at the same time. This will allow you to have multiple sessions running concurrently in Glisser. So we have now created our event. We've uh, inserted the days, the times, the rooms. We've added a holding slide and we've created our sessions. You'll note to the right, there is an option to create individual customized codes for each of our breakout sessions, or you can leave it blank, in which case Glisser will auto-populate codes for you. Next, simply hit create event and our event has now been created in Glisser. On the right side of the screen, you will now have a number of options. First, let's go to our interactive settings about halfway down the screen on the right side, and you can do your settings at the event level. So you can decide, do I want Q&A on or Twitter or download features? You can password protect the sessions or turn on email capture. So you can turn all of these settings on or off at the event level, and you can lock them so that no one can make any further changes. If you leave lock off, you do also have the option to change settings at the session level. So we simply would click add sessions. You'll notice our event dates will appear at the top in the rooms. So if I wanted to make an adjustment to our keynote session, I would simply go to day one in the main room and I'd click on keynote. From here, you can go to edit on the right hand side and make any of the necessary adjustments. So that's how you create an event in Glisser and edit any of the sessions uh, that you have associated with that event. If you'd like to see more on how to edit individual sessions, please click on the Glisser training link in the description below this video. The next thing I'd like to show you is how do we add new sessions to an already created event? Well, to do so, we go back to the presentation dashboard. So this is where we first logged in and we will want to then make sure a session has already been created. So if you've already created a session, it will be uh, listed here in the main dashboard, or 
you can follow the directions in the additional training video listed below to learn how to create a new session. But once that is complete, we just go back to the event tab. We click on the event that's already been created. We go to add session and our agenda will appear. So if I wanted to add a new session to this already existing event, I would simply pick what day do I wanna add the session? What room do I wanna add the session? And then I would decide on the time. And as soon as I click on the appropriate day and room, you will notice that the sessions that are available to be connected to this event will appear on the right side. So we have a session that's not yet associated with the event. We simply click on it, decide what time it should take place, and click Add Presentation. This session has now been associated with this event at the appropriate day, time, and room. The next step is to actually push our event live and allow our audience to interact with it. So if I just go back to the main room and our keynote session, I can click Present and move our session into full screen. The event URL will now populate on the screen for everyone to see in the audience. And you will ask your audience to simply type this URL into their browser. So it's just glycerit forward slash glycer2. Or I'm already on the glycer page, so I just need to type in the code. Upon doing so, it will take me to our glycer event. First, I will enter my email address. to join. And now what you will see in front of you is our event agenda that we just created. And again, this is the audience view. You'll see the name of the event, the dates it's taking place on, and all of the sessions we've just created. Again, these sessions have been created with the default Glisser holding slide, which can be replaced with any image that you'd like. The image of the slide will appear first. Below that will be the name of the session, the date, the time, and the room. You simply instruct your audience to click on the appropriate session, and from there they can interact. Thank you for joining our Glisser training session on creating an event, and we look forward to you joining us for our next training session.